a little class. Hey, I just decided to explain the final exam that we're having. I call it a final exam. It's really not a final exam. It's just a final project that I'm going to give you a time period to do it in. Um, I'd rather do it this way right now because I have a, call, a couple people couldn't make the meeting, so I've got to call everybody individually. I think I just record it once, watch the thing. You can even speed me up on YouTube and make me go faster. So uh, a couple things. First, we did that assignment uh, with the with the logos. We had to come up with the different ideas, okay? And that wasn't that assignment was really designed just to make you more creative because the creative process really is about uh, drawing as many ideas as you can, trying to think of uh, using cues to, to, to jog your, uh, to inspire you. Like for example, I said, use emotional things like sad or happy or fat or skinny and use some of those descriptors to come up with different alternatives and ideas, okay? Then we did the double letters. I said, use some categories like letters that are side by side or stacked or interlocked or in, in a border and things like that. So hopefully, you know, I had you do 50 and I knew 50 would be hard, but I also knew 50 would force you to go beyond your regular ideas and start experimenting with new and even more creative ideas. So really my goal for techno art was you'd have you become a better artist. Okay. In other words, have some inspiring ideas. Uh, second goal was that you'd learn the technology. You did some of that. Unfortunately, we didn't get to do all the things we wanted to do. And third, and maybe most important, was to become a more creative thinker. So that's the goal with these projects. I'd have you do those letter logos because you don't need a computer to do them. You just use your pencil or pen or whatever and sketch these ideas. And eventually you can do them in um, marker or whatever. So this is going to be your assignment. Uh, next week, Tuesday... One o'clock, I'm going to post a list of everybody in the class, and I'm going to assign you two random letters, okay? So it's as though you have a client, and the client wants a logo. So let's say the client's name was, uh, I don't know, Dave Smith Company. So your letters might be D and S. Now, what you're going to do with the D and S is come up with some kind of a logo with a D and S. Now, keep in mind, there's going to be a first letter and a second letter, so if it, let's say it was Dave Smith Company, you can't put the S before the D, okay? You could put the S bigger than the D and the D someplace in it, like Albert Durrett, a really big A and a little tiny D. But uh, you have to come up with ideas just using these random letters and you won't know what those letters are ahead of time, okay? So at one o'clock on Tuesday, next week, I'm gonna uh, post a list of your name. So it'll say Abby Field and Abby Field's two letters might be G and W. And you're going to have to come up with 50 logos that are G and W. You're going to do sketches just like this and take pictures of those sketches. And then you're going to do those finished drawings like I've showed you before where you have your own ideas and you draw those out, okay, using, uh, you know, marker or colored pencil or whatever that you can make them look decent in, okay. So you'll draw those ideas out. I'm trying to look for the ones that I had. Anyhow, uh, so you'll draw those, your three best of those 50, photograph those. And then you have uh, from one o'clock when I post them till four o'clock to get it done. Okay. Now I'm just giving you a time frame because I figured put a little constraints on you though because I really want you to to force you to be creative in that time frame. Okay. Uh, hopefully you have fun with it. You're going to get a good grade on it unless you don't try. You don't have fifty. Um, but you know, just do your best. Have some, have fun with it. And I, I want you to know that being creative is fun. It's fun coming up with ideas. I know that when I sketch a lot of ideas, many of my ideas aren't very good, but they lead me to the good ideas. And hopefully that's what you learn from this class, that ideas don't just happen. You use prompts, you do sketches, you try things out, you have a lot of ideas, and then eventually you narrow it down to those couple that are really good. So that's what I'd like you to do. Uh, so next week, one o'clock, uh, I post them, post your name with the two random letters, and um, you are going to do your logos based on those letters. And that'll be it for the semester. So it's going to, your course will be over for this. Um, and that's it. This thing behind me is a little fun wheel that I made. We would have done this in class. The wheel's full of letters. I spin it. We take a dart, throw it at it, and take another dart, throw it at it. And this one would have been E. And H, E's the first letter, H the second letter. So maybe these would have, those would have been yours. So that's how I'm going to select them. Very random. Could be any letters. I don't know what they could be. Okay? So next week, Tuesday, that'll be the deal. 
and hopefully you have fun. All right, take care.